Spark discharge is one of the unsteady, self-maintained discharges in gas. It appears between electrodes in the electric field, which is not much different from a uniform field. It can appear, for example, between two flat electrodes or two sufficiently large spheres. Electric spark looks like a bright glowing thin channel, which connects both electrodes. It usually has a complex curved and branched structure. Electric spark appears when electric field in gas reaches a certain value, EK, that is critical field strength or breakdown strength. It depends on the type of gas and its state. For instance, at normal conditions, breakdown voltage for air is about 3 MV per meter. EK value grows if pressure increases. Ratio P of critical field strength to gas pressure for the given gas remains approximately constant in a wide range of pressure changes. This principle turns out to be quite useful and allows to determine breakdown voltage at different pressures if we know its value at one pressure. Spark discharge usually happens when the power of the energy source is insufficient for maintaining a steady arc or glow discharge. In this case, a discharge current grows rapidly. At the same time, voltage at the discharge gap drops lower than the extinction voltage of the electric spark within a very short period of time, that is from some microseconds to several hundred microseconds. As a result, the discharge ceases. Then voltage difference between electrodes grows again. It reaches breakdown voltage and the process repeats. Spark discharge is explained by a streamer theory. According to it, a bright glowing channel, that is the spark, is preceded by low gleaming accumulations of ionized gas, which are called streamers. Streamers occur not only as the result of appearance of electron avalanches by means of collisional ionization, but also as the result of a photon ionization of gas. While piercing gas discharge intervals, streamers form ohmic bridges and powerful electron streams move across them during the subsequent stages of discharge. It is important that besides the initial electron avalanche that originated immediately to the cathode, there are new avalanches forming on the points far ahead of the initial avalanche. These new avalanches are formed because electrons appear in gas volume as a result of photoionization by radiation which originates from previously formed avalanches. In the process of development certain avalanches are catching up with each other and thus merge together. As a result a streamer channel with good conductivity appears along with negative streamers which are moving from the cathode to the anode there are also positive streamers. These are moving from the anode to the cathode. Great amounts of energy are released during the described processes and gas on the spark gap heats up to a very high temperature, about 10,000 degrees Kelvin, and it starts glowing. Quick heating of gas results in a growing pressure and forming of shock waves which explain the sound effects during a spark discharge. This is a typical crackling in low discharges and peals of thunder in case of lightning which in this example of a powerful spark discharge between a thundercloud and earth or between two thunderclouds. A spark discharge is used to ignite a combustible mixture in internal combustion engines and to protect electric power lines against over voltage. In this case spark arresters are used. A spark discharge with a discharge gap of a short length causes erosion of metal surfaces. That is why it is used in electrospark metal working operations such as high precision cutting and boring. Spark counters are used in spectrum analysis for registering charged particles.